So I just got into the Lego store. Good. Let me show you everything I got. Check this out. Can y'all see this? This is great. Have a new world of fun. I'm in my Lego city room. Hey, party people. Welcome back and happy Monday. I know this video won't come out on a Monday, but today's Monday, so happy Monday. I am currently down at the Lego store because I thought, you know, after a very long weekend of really icy, cold, sad weather, it'd be fun to go do some Lego shopping. So I brought with me something that I don't normally bring with me, and this will actually save me a bunch of money today. What's in the bag? We We've got some pivot brick cups in here and these are used we have like 4,000 of these at home but when you bring them back and refill them you get about 50 cents per cup off did that make sense 50 cent discount and I brought five with me so that'll save me two dollars and fifty cents which isn't as much as I would like but it's still a discount so that's really nice the lids are still in the bag by the way but yeah so I brought all of these pick a brick cups with me today because I am finally going to be getting some work done in my Lego Disney World and my Lego Super Mario World it had been months since I've shown off my Lego Disney World but also the Lego Mario World like there's been a lot done in there and I just haven't shown you guys so that's going to be changing I'm going to be shifting focus over to that area in the Lego City which is why I'm gonna be filling all of these up. Thankfully, I already know which pick a brick pieces I need. So that's not an issue. I just hope that they have enough because I need a bunch. But besides pick a brick pieces, the only other thing I'm after are monkey kit sets and our Lego store doesn't carry them anymore, which is such a bummer. I just like, I'm obsessed with the City of Lanterns. I think it looks so good, but you can only get it online. So uh, yeah, let's head in and see what they have. Hopefully they have a fully stocked pad wall. If not, then I will be a very sad lego fan today yay mall i don't think i've been to the lego store on a monday in so long like usually go on tuesdays or just release days so i'm kind of excited usually it's just very chill in there and i don't really like it to be super hectic anyways i don't know large crowds kind of freak me out sometimes Woo. the mall's super empty right now which is kind of nice i don't know i'm like having a great monday so far and there's no line outside the lego store right now but check these out they have the same displays i really hope they switch it up soon but I am excited to discover new worlds of fun. I still need to build this set though. I have the tree house. I just haven't built it yet. Definitely expect a live stream soon. I honestly can't wait to build it. And then over here we have the Titanic. This thing is massive. I doubt they'll take this down anytime soon. Like it's just such a cool set. It's totally a statement piece. And then we have Sonic up there looking very Sonic-y. And then the globe, very cool to see it. So now let's check out the Lego store. All right, so I just got into the Lego store obviously and i'm setting up my camera does my angle look good think we're good all right so as you can clearly see there's a lot of sets on the shelves right now including a bunch of the police station modular along the top which is kind of interesting i don't see the boutique hotel in stock though they also have a lot of the lego ideas globe in stock and i actually really like that set it is very underrated i actually like, really enjoyed building that one sonic's hanging out over here as well but really the main reason that i decided to physically come to the lego store today was to check out the pick a brick wall so let's go take a look all right so here we are at the beautiful thing that is the pav wall but actually i can't really see everything from this angle let's go take a look from a different angle all right man there's so many good options today do y'all see this this is great so there's at least three or four different types of piece here that really caught my eye i'm looking at these red one by eight bricks i think those would come in handy there's some one by two green bricks that aren't two by twos but i can still use them i'm trying to do the mills in disney world and so those will really come in handy but then also down here, oh, you can't really see them that well. Hold on. There we go. This is so much better. I'm kind of like crouching down in the store so we can get a really good look at these. But they have a bunch of these blue, I think they're car hoods. Is that like what they're actually supposed to be used for? But another use of them is for flowers. And in this rose here, you can see all of those pieces along there are red car hoods, whatever. These are blue. And I think it'd be really cool to get a bunch of the blue ones to make blue roses. So let me know your thoughts on that. I think that'd be kind of neat. But then these over here are the ones that I am after. I came here specifically for this piece, really hoping they still had them. I do kind of like a Lincoln log type of thing in my Lego city just to build up the elevation. And one of the more recent times I was here, I think I got two or three pab cups full of this piece and I used them up so fast. So I definitely wanna get at least one full cup of these. They don't really have too many, so I'll just get as many as I can. Let's go stack some bricks. Whew, that was fast. I stacked all of these in record time. It was so fast that you couldn't even see it because that would involve filming. But here I am clearly holding my cup of bricks because that's definitely how human bodies work. You get so many more this way if you stack them, so I totally do recommend that. But seriously though, look how many I stacked in this cup. I did a great job with it. I'm actually very proud of myself. All it took was me looking like a weird girl stacking bricks in the back of the Lego store. By the way, if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And then I was kind of disappointed 
disappointed because they didn't have any two by two bricks. They only had one by twos. So I'm planning on just putting two of them next to each other to make a two by two brick for Mills because that's just kind of the best piece to use for it. So let me start scooping some into this cup real quick. Good. Stacking bricks in the back of the Lego store will never not feel awkward, which is why I try my best not to be that person, but. And then they also had a bunch of these one by one yellow bricks. And I was thinking about getting them as like a Mills kind of substitute as well, but I decided against it. I don't know. I feel like the one by twos are enough of a compromise. I don't think these would actually be that useful, but then I'm pretty sure these here were a newer piece. It's a bunch of, I think six by, what are those? Yeah, they're six by eight. They had a bunch of these six by eight black plates and because we're doing mills, I figured this would be good to kind of lay on top of the bricks for the mill system. So now that I got all of the pieces that I was after, I wanted to come check out the brick heads because last time I was here, they didn't have the Woody and Bo Peep brick heads and they still don't. All I see are buzz over here. So that's kind of disappointing. They're probably just stuck on a ship somewhere. Oh my God. So there's nothing else here that I really need. I have my three PAB cups and now I think it's time to go check out. Can't film in Lego stores anymore due to greater powers. So I hope that this was at least like entertaining for you. Alrighty, so I just left the Lego store. Check this out. I have two bags here that I need to show you guys. They couldn't fit it all into one. And there are a bunch of people working there. So it was kind of fun to chat with them and catch up a little bit. But yeah, this was pretty successful. They didn't have everything that I was after and they were running low on a lot of pieces, but feeling pretty good about it. So now that I have all of these pieces, there's no excuse to not get work done in the Lego city. Let me show you everything I got. I would say this was a very successful Lego shopping day. It wasn't as crazy as some of my other hauls, but you know, it doesn't always need to be that crazy. It really doesn't. So first off, I got a bunch of these one by eight bricks. I'll kind of show you how I implement this once I get home. Yay! Next up is something I didn't really care to get, but I did anyways because I didn't have anything else that I needed. I got a bunch of these one by two green bricks. Now, I don't really care about the color. I didn't get them because they're green. I just got them for mills because I just need a bunch of bulk to put under all of the plates that I'm working with, especially for Disney World. Like we don't have any mills plates ready at this point so that's where these are going to come in handy i'm going to put two next to each other and pretend like it's a two by two brick hopefully that kind of works out yay and then finally this one doesn't shake as much it's just kind of disappointing these are a bunch of black plates and really again this is all just for the mill system so i can get some more work done in the lego city but what i'm planning on doing with these is placing them on top of my two by two bricks to help create more Mills plates. And I like the color black because it's very neutral and I think that'll just be really good for a Disney World area. You can build on top of it, do like bright pops of color. So I think this'll work. We'll see. Not too sure, honestly, but we're gonna give it a try. It seems like one of my favorite things to do is to just buy a bunch of pieces from the pad wall and then never use them. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Maybe it will, <laughs> we will see. But anyways, now it's time for a little adventure today. My nails are gross, like they've just grown out a bunch. You can kind of see, not good, not a good look. So I'm gonna go get my nails done, but then y'all, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing with my Lego city and how I plan to implement all of these pieces. Cause last night I literally ran out of this. I'm really happy I have more. Running out of Lego pieces that you're in desperate need of is such a terrible feeling. Like it just makes you so sad cause you're finally productive and you don't have the pieces you need. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm planning on doing with all of this stuff. All right, so I just left the nail place and I am obsessed with my nails. I'll show you once I get to my car, if I can ever find my car, let's see. Wow, it is so bright, but okay. Can y'all see this? I look like a mermaid, look how pretty these are. I love it. Anyways, I'm heading home now so I can show you my Lego city and show you everything I'm planning on doing with all of these new pieces that I have. So stay tuned, I'll see y'all at home. All right, so I just got home and I'm in my Lego city room, clearly. So let me show you what I'm planning on doing with all of these new pieces. Here we have the three new pick a brick cups. I have the red pieces in here, the black plates, and then the one by two green bricks in here. So with the one by eight bricks, what I'm planning on doing and what I have already done quite a bit of is used it kind of as Lincoln logs to elevate up this Mario world. And it's really nice because you use very few pieces to fill in a bunch of space. So it makes it pretty cheap to build up vertically. And then as for the one by two bricks here, I'm using them for the mill system to fill in pretty much all the space under the sets. So as you can see on the corner here, we have a two by two brick. And essentially what I'm gonna do is take two of these to equal that. So hopefully that works out. I haven't really tried that before, but 
but I'm hopeful. Also, this is all they had, so I didn't really have too many options. And then as for all of these new black plates here, these are kind of coming so handy. So as you can see over here, we have basically a Mills plate. We have like some dismantled Lego Super Mario sets, Luigi's Mansion stuff. But what I'm going to be doing is laying the black plates on top here. So instead of it being green, it would be black. And so when I kind of continue out throughout my Disney World, instead of having obviously like blank space over there, it'll be mostly filled in with a bunch of black. So that then from there, I can add to it, add some color, make pathways, roadways, whatever, whatever makes sense for this kind of region. So I'm really excited. I don't think these will go super far and building up the Mario World because each kind of column is probably like one pick a brick cup, maybe two columns is a pick a brick cup. But I am excited to finally have the pieces I need to get some more work done in here. So with all that being said, definitely expect some more city updates coming soon. I'm going to be working a ton on Disney World as well as our Mario World over here. So I am really excited for that. I think it'll look really cool when it's done. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and do consider subscribing down below. Thanks everyone and I'll see you next time.